Well, back here at Black Point doing another uh, seagrass report. It is November 29th and things aren't looking good. So, I'm going to put the cameras down, see what we see. I'm going to report back to you. Well, I'll put the cameras down and visibility is about a foot and a half maybe. And I'm in two feet of water and I can't really tell what's on the bottom, which is not good. But I can tell there wasn't much there, if any kind of plant life at all. So it's kind of barren desert. Kind of looks like really weak coffee. Um, generally when I pop, you know, paddle out here, I'll paddle, I'll, I'll throw a line out, I'll pull a jig behind me. And I'll generally catch jacks, I'll catch ladyfish, I'll catch, I could catch a few trout on the way out too. Um, but the last few times I've been paddling out here, no fish on the way in, no fish on the way out. And it's, it's really turning into a desert out here. So things are not looking good over here at Black Point. And even worse news, up north of here, Sebastian, the uh, Indian River Lagoon is in critical critical condition right now it's looking really bad there's been reports of fish kill around coco and um, what has happened is there was algae up in that section of the lagoon and it was literally areas of that river was as green as my board and that algae and stuff is going to die off brown algae is moving in and basically before my, i don't want to get too technical but what's happening is all the oxygen is getting sucked out of the water. With conditions that we're going to have this winter, I hate to say it, but I project that it's going to be a massive, massive fish kill. A lot bigger than the one that we saw over there in Banana River a few years back. This is, this is, this is just going to be so much worse than that. And I hate to say it, and God, I hope that I'm wrong, but all everything is leading up to that. So... Guys, we we got to we got to do something. We got to help clean this water up. And for all you who think that we need to put um, you know inlets in to flush it out, that is not the answer. I was out yesterday in my boat, and I was literally a couple hundred yards from the inside of the inlet in a mangrove area that was years ago flush, lush grass. And yesterday it was nothing. It was barren. It was barren, nothing but sand. So even a couple hundred yards from Sebastian Inlet, there's no grass. So we can't just flush everything out of the lagoon and not take care of the problem. We got to take care of the problem. The problem is the nutrients going into the lagoon. You know, a lot of it has to do with the spraying, with the fertilizing, septic tanks. It's a combination of everything. And basically it's all man-made. I say 99% of what this lagoon is happening in this lagoon is man-made response. It's, it's, it is our responsibility to clean it up. So if you guys want to know what you can do, I'm going to put a link down here. I am on the board of directors of the Indian River Keepers. And the reason why I chose that because they are out to look to find out what is wrong with the water and try to hold people responsible for anyone that's doing wrong to the river or lagoon. And I got the link down below. You can join that. And also there's a phone number there. If you see something, if you see fish kills, if you see uh, pollution going in here that shouldn't be, raw sewage dumps or anything else, please, you know, contact this number below. And if you would, sign up for it. Bavard County right now, it's, it's terrible. I mean, you're going to basically, it's on a... You're going to see it everywhere from, from Melbourne all the way up to Titusville. It's, I hate to say it, I, it it's, it's, it's going to be so, 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 so bad. And uh, it's already started. It has already started. Guys, please, you know, we got to do something to fix this. This is, used to be such a beautiful body of water. It was a very unique es, es, mm, estuary that... You couldn't find anywhere else in the world. It was one of a kind, and we're, we're killing it. We are killing it. So, guys, I appreciate it. I'll be, uh, hopefully, um, I will be up north. 
I will be doing a uh, video of what is going up in that area so you guys get a little better idea of what I'm talking about. But uh, wish I had better news. One day I will. We'll keep fighting until we do. So, till next time, this is Pete Hink. We'll see you.